Okay guys, we're going to do a brief video about how to flash a Simon K ESC to BL Heli using an Arduino Nano. This Arduino Nano is available at FreebirdRC.com and we're going to flash a FreebirdRC.com 12 amp Simon K speed controller into BL Heli. When you get your Nano device, the first thing you'll do is plug it into your computer. When you do that, It should be automatically recognized by your computer. It will take a couple of minutes and install its own firmware. When your computer tells you that your Nano is ready to go, good idea to check in your devices and printers. It should show up there. Here it is showing as a uh, USB serial device on COM number 11. Pay attention to what COM number it installs on. You'll need to know that later. Now you open up your BL Heli suite. The next thing we need to do is program the nano device um, so it's compatible with the speed controller. You're going to go into interfaces for Atmel. We're using an Atmel ESC and we want to make an Arduino USB link interface. That is the one that works with Simon K bootloader. So we click on that. Um, it's looking for it on COM 10. So say no, I go up here. There it is, COM 11. And now I'm going to make the Arduino USB link on COM 11 that matches up. I say yes. And after a couple of moment, moments, it will write. And it's done. Say OK on this screen and say OK on that screen. Now it asks you, do you want to use servo plugs connected to D3, D2, and ground? Yes, we do. And your Nano is now flashed successfully. We'll go up to the Atmel BSC setup, but the first thing you need to do is check under Atmel and Scilabs, make sure you pick the right device. We want the USB or Arduino USB linker interface. If it's on one wire, it will not work. Make sure that you get the right interface selected, which is the USB linker. Back to the setup, and we're ready to go. Now we're going to hook up the actual speed controller. You're going to plug the ESC wires in to those D3, D2, and ground ones we we said OK to. And they are located right here. I don't know well, how well you can see this, but the back row of pins starting on pin number four is the ground. Select those four, five, and six pins. If you flip that over, I don't know if you can read this very well, but uh, marked right there, it says D3, D2, and ground. Look for those, make sure they match up. But that is how that connects. Now we need to power up our ESC. I'm going to use a three cell LiPo. I'm connecting it to a current limiter. Um, if you don't use a current limiter and you hook things up wrong or select the wrong firmware, you can literally blow up your speed controller, maybe even a motor if it's connected. Google how to make a uh, current limiter for flashing ESCs and I recommend that you make one, get one somehow or proceed at your own risk. With Simon K, you can go ahead and connect both power leads up to power the ESC. And now we're going to connect. It's looking for it on the wrong com. Again, I need to pick number 11. And then we connect and we're good. Now we'll say read setup. And it says it found uh, Simon K firmware. We want to flash it to BL Heli. Yes, we do. Here's a critical step. You need to know exactly what firmware you need. This case, the FreebirdRC.com 12 amp ESC flashes as a blue series 12 amp multi. That is the one you need to select. I select that. I say OK. And then I say yes. And it will begin to burn the firmware. It only takes a moment for that to happen once the firmware is on there. We'll go ahead and start settings. It failed. Don't worry. If it fails the first time, just flash it again. 
It happens frequently. I don't know why, but it always works the second time around. Say OK, say yes, and wait for about 30 seconds for it to flash. And that worked. We flashed it. We are now able to start changing settings. I'm not going to cover too much about changing settings um, in this particular instance because it depends on your motor and your application. Notice there I did turn on the damp light. It's supported by the FreebirdRC.com 12 amp ESC. Um, I turned DMAG off and temperature protection on. I'm going to go to medium high. Um, these settings depend on your motor. So just research your motor in the settings. Uh, I'm also going to turn this down to 1100 just because that seems to work great. And then I write the setup and I disconnect and it's done. Now I'm going to demonstrate at this point you should disconnect everything. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use this same tool to flash an ESC that has BL Heli with the BL Heli bootloader on it. This is a similar ESC to what we were just using. The difference is this one has got the BL Heli bootloader on it. The Nano right now will not work. It's got the wrong firmware. The Afro programmer, the Turnagy USB programmer will not work because they are all set up only to read Simon K and they will not connect to BL Heli bootloader. However, the Nano is nice because in a few seconds you can change it. Just go into your interfaces for Atmel and select Make Arduino One Wire Interface. Say yes, and it quickly rewrites the firmware on your Nano board. Say OK to that, and we are now ready to flash a Simon K, or I'm sorry, a BL Heli bootloader. Um, connecting the speed controller is almost exactly the same as with Simon K. You plug it into the same same pins on the board, 4, 5, and 6, the uh, D3, D2, and ground. When you connect, you do it a little bit different with BL Heli. Start by connecting only one of the power leads. For some reason, BL Heli wants you to attempt to read it before you connect. So we go back to the Atmel setup. Make sure you select the proper tool. Now it's the one wire bootloader interface. If it's still in USB linker, it won't work. Now we're going to attempt to read the setup. It asks us to power up. Looking for it on the wrong column. I'm going to cancel. I have to set it for column number 11. Now I'm going to tell it to read the setup. Now it asks me to cycle power. And it read. And there you can see what the settings currently are on that speed controller that we are now reading uh, a Simon K, I'm, I'm sorry, a BL Heli bootloader with BL Heli on it. And we use the same tool for both. So um, thank you guys. That's it.